Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are continuing the awesome Bear With Me by smashing out all three episodes of the DLC. So this time around we are playing as Flint's sister who, before the main events of the main game, worked with Ted E. Bear and this is where Flint goes missing and we have to find him. Now if you played the original 1000 slash platinum main game, you know how it works, but don't worry if not, I'll be explaining everything anyway. Uh, so this is obviously set as a dark noir type game with a heavy emphasis on point and click. It's just as fun as the main game, but there's a lot more dialogue and talking involved seemingly around this time. But of course with the and DLC, there are 13 achievements worth 195 Gs, but they're all pretty easy and straightforward anyway. Again, we'll be making a few saves here and there, just before certain puzzles, just in case we get them wrong, but again, it's nothing, it's easy, and it's very enjoyable. It is pretty much longer than the main game though, each episode on the DLC clocks in and around 25 minutes to half hour for episode 1, and about 40 to 50 minutes for episode 2 and 3. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, when we are at the main menu here, oh, <coughs> excuse me. Man, I still can't get over these hangovers. When you're over 30, it's disgusting. You can't do it. <laughs> you just press up on the D-pad to go up to um, episode 1. And so we will begin. Now, a lot of the time, like I say, we'll be just smashing through the dialogue by smashing the A button continuously. Um, but it'll, it, a lot of this seems to be a lot more walking and a lot more talking involved. Uh, so nip through this unskippable cutscene just first. Very dark and ashy and... Oh my god, so hardcore! Please, wake up! And here we begin then. So we begin in Amber's room. So first thing we need to do, we're going to interact with the draw on the left hand side. So press the A button. That is what we're going to be using to interact with many, many things. And we'll pick up our first item there. Uh, she does talk a lot. Very much like a lot of women. Just joking. Anyway, pick up the glasses there from the left hand side of the cardboard really box. And then we're going to look at a case underneath the bed. So again, it's obviously you're uh, pressing the left directional stick to move, pressing the A button to interact with things, and then we're going to pick up the battery from said case. We've got a giraffe neck woman watching us while we sleep, for some reason. I suppose a lot of people have different kinks, but uh, we're going to speak to giraffe neck uh, Millie. And we're going to be um, saying a lot more uh, typical dialogue. So we're going to say, there was this fire. And we're just going to smash through, you know, women love a chat, we all know that, but we got to find Flint, mate. Stupid Flint goes missing. He may not, Ted. He has a small off. We can't work together. Mostly because I'm still, I haven't seen him. And then when we're finally done, we're going to say, okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. Anyone with the name Millie just reminds me of Millie's cookies, so that just makes me starving all the time listening to this giraffe neck. He's asked what man we call there were all ever said the official yours well paper city police the may a lot we may, but mo you said the mugshot we are I have to go I'll be back I'm fine please so weirdly enough then Ted E Bear has a little office in our closet for some reason that's probably why we wear the same clothes all the time because you know there's a teddy bear sniffing all our stuff which is a bit weird anyway any cutscene like this we can skip using the B button slash the circle button on PlayStation whatever your preferred choice and then obviously there's going to be a lot more dialogue little plan do me a solid this I knew you would Millie are we so first dialogue choice choose that's none of your business why I'm already in bed you absolute filth bag naughty bear lucky one of and where were you I was following yeah not much. Not a god. Listen, doll. I've, lately, I've been doing a bunch of nervous trade. I grew tired of our days of crime fighting. You've been practicing. A little bit. It was okay. The I threw that in for... No, no. And for this dialogue option, choose You Owe Me Rent. Which, to be fair, I'd let a teddy bear go in my closet and sniff all my clothes if he was going to pay me rent. But, but maybe, maybe that's just a weird thing. Now we're going to be choosing uh, any particular one, so I just chose the top option there. Any one does not matter. Yeah. I mean, fact that they're... But wasn't... Th well... Anyways, the one that leads... I need to... Maybe he's still... She says it... Wait. She was... He's asking... 
Nilly is... Whoa, the... And then finally, with the yammering done, we're going to choose my brother, question mark. Brother? No. You're Magnif? That's right. I'm sorry. You know what. Finally, so we got the chatting done. Now we can get grab a couple of things. So we're going to grab Sticky's glue off Ted's desk. Uh, that's probably why Ted's such a misery ass, because he's sticking glue. He's uh, getting a bit of sniffing glue on the go. That's not good for you. Then what we're going to do, you can press the inventory open using the right bumper button, and then use the Swiss Army knife on the glasses. So the RB button is what you need to open up the inventory, and then, again, just pressing the A button, and then putting the Sticky's glue on the broken magnifier. And, of course, we've got a lens, so keep in with the inventory, put the lens in the broken magnifier, and voila. Ted will never know. And then we can just use the magnifier, go up so it goes off the screen, and then use the magnifier on Ted E. Bear. What do you mean? It's a ma- No, you've replaced- That's- Okay. So once we're out of the closet, we're going to go into the hallway west, which is uh, just getting under the door. Melly's going to continue watching the bed. Maybe we pay her some good bucks for that. Still weird, but if she gets paid well, well, we can't blame her, can we? So we're going to head down into hallway east. So it's basically the top, uh, the bottom left corner is where you can get down to the next hallway. And then we're going to be speaking with this uh, robot. For some reason, there is Rusty the robot who stands outside the study. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be guarding. He looks more like a weirdly crappy drunk bender. Anyway, what we're going to do then is... First, we're going to choose the top option, which is going to get us another achievement. So, know anything about the Red Man? Hmm, the Red Man? And basically what that's going to do is make Ted a laughing stock, and it's going to unlock us our first achievement of ZDLC. That's after now, don't you? Are you kidding? Anyways, anyone angry boyfriend? Don't get smart. Besides, who's getting smart? I'm not. He's asking. Is he old? He's fine. Nah, I'm just. To be honest, I'm not sure why he's a laughing stock, but something happened. Anyway, with the next bunch of dialogue options, all we're going to do is just keep smashing through. We're going to exhaust all the dialogue options. So that is your. That is your duty for the next thirty seconds to a minute. Smash through all the dialogue until the conversation's over. How do you escape? Are you? I think. Have you seen? Uh, but I'm sure. You know anything? No, really. Just be careful when you're speaking to him, just so you don't speak to him again. There we go. So I, I done it like two or three times. But anyway, when we are done speaking with Rusty, we're going to head right to him into the study. Hmm, interesting. Uh, go all the way over to the left, interact with the cabinet. Hmm, what's daddy hiding that we don't know about, hmm? Any a little plug of some kind in there? No, he is actually using a flashlight. Luckily, I read it as flashlight first, which if you don't know what that is, just just don't Google it. Only desperate men who should ever know what a flashlight is. Anyway, we got the flashlight. Now we can move out, and this what little bit hell? of cutscene's gonna happen. <sighs> Shit's going down, man. Shit is going down. And then once we're outside, we're going to speak to Rustilicus once more. Again, just exhausting all the dialogue. I think there should only be one or two options anyway. But uh, exhaust it all once more. Why don't you... You? Hm. I don't think... Are you saying I'm... There's a bot. We can keep that net. I was the one... Are you trying to play... That thing with... You seem to have blown... I have the key. Okay, let's make it... You sure? It's not... I just want to make... Can't you get... Here's the thing... She know. Ted and Amber, move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not a do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. What's this whole- Rust, he worked in that mill. Let's just do- Poor Rust. I think, but- So, we just need to grab a few credentials for Rustilicus, the old lad. So, we're gonna head back to the closet. So, back down to hallway west. Back into Amber's room. This looks like a really nice house, by the way. Now, is this teddy bears doing, or is this Amber having the richest parents ever, and this is all just make-believe? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, back in Amber's room, back into the closet, and then as soon as you do... Now, also, what I realised, as soon as we grab the credentials, I'll let you know in just a second, but I didn't realise until further on in this episode two, uh, but interact with the filing cabinet, which is where Ted E. Bear was sitting, and that is going to get us the credentials, so that's what we need. Now, when you actually 
uh, click on a place, hallway west, hallway east, through to the study, whatever. If you double tap the A button, you actually go there immediately without uh, doing this little bit of walking sequence. So, literally it saves a couple of seconds here and there, but it is so damn handy to do. So go down hallway east, double tap the A button, and then you get there immediately without the walk-in sequence. So that comes in goddamn handy. Anyway, once we're here with Rusty, inventory, credentials, use those credentials on Rustilicus, the roboticness, and that's who's actually going to get us our second achievement. Keep an oh, thanks, Rusty. Thank you. Sorry, I lied. It's not going to get us the second achievement, but it's going to get us a set of batteries or the, another battery we need. So use the flashlight with the batteries in your inventory or the other way around. Shouldn't make too much of a difference. And then we get a working flashlight, which comes in handy. So again, just press the um, R1 button to get off the inventory if you are stuck on it. For some reason, it did take me about 20, 30 seconds to realize that's what I had to do. So going back to hallway west, we're going into the bathroom this time, which is straight on. Again, just pressing the double A button will get you there immediately without doing the walk-in sequence. God, I wish I knew that earlier. Anyway, grab the duster from underneath the sink. This duster, I'll take it. And then we can just he exit the bathroom heading out. By the way, the whole double A tap-in sequence trick that can work on some items, but not all items for whatever reason. So it's always worth doing it with every item you need to pick up. Double tap the A button and see if uh, you'll get there a couple of seconds quicker. Anyway, heading all the way back down to hallway east, the old east infection. Um, wait, what? And then we're going back into the study on the right hand side. So we're actually going to try and be entering Flintoss's room now. So we're going to interact with the Anubis statue, which is the only statue on the desk. Apparently our mother and father are not about, so screw them. I'll touch what I won't. And we break it. <laughs> so we need to interact with the fallen statue. And, well, that's always going to come in handy again. Again, slam through the dialogue, but of course, just be careful you're not going too much, because you should keep on repeating the same cruds. Uh, grab the duster from your inventory, and then use it on the holos in the wall. There, I Why don't you? Off the sure you. And obviously, Amber's got those obvious big butcher shoulders, and Teddy Bear's just a little, little tiny speck of nothingness. So we're going to skip this cutscene right here, and we're going to end up in Flint's room. Now, this isn't what I was expecting at all. But what we're going to do, we are going to grab the Swiss Army knife from your inventory, and we're going to use it on the rope, which is just tied to the broom on the right-hand side. Now, make sure to be grabbing the red cloth. This is important for the final achievement in the DLC later on. So make sure to grab the red cloth, and then we're going to grab the sword, which is in the closet, just on the left-hand side, the level 6 sword. Um, we're going to grab both. You, might, you may be okay to be grabbing just the one or the other for this particular achievement, but make sure to grab one or the other, or both anyway, just to be on the safe side. Next, interact with the old Mug and Shotten brothers. Again, a lot of dialogue is going to be happening, which is just way more probably unnecessary. But this time, like I said, we're just going to smash through all the dialogue options again, so you go do that. Smash through it all. Well, maybe I. It's all. That's. So. That's. Listen, I've seen. I know. Oh, yeah, we, we know. What's up? You got that. Not. Maybe. I hear. My CB. It's. it's sh Don't worry. Why'd you escape? Who's me? We might. But. Sure. What? You know. Help. Forget. Hold on there. Your memories. Hey, well. Sure. Not my once. Here's the what? Hmm. Well, I have to. When I come. Bizarre. You trying to. Before. You better. You didn't. Oh. That's what. I, I'll keep it. Sure. It's left. Sure. And with that bit done, then we can now head all the way to the left, back into the study. So, uh, you know, get your tiny little frame in there, boy. Those two clowns. Did you add? I did. The red. That's. So. No. What should we. Well, mug should. We should. Such. Thanks. So now we're going to be coming up to our second achievement. So we're going to the hallway east, the old hallway yeast, and then we're going actually into our parents' room. So with that, uh, we are going into our parents' room, not hallway west. So get out your parents' room key and then whack it on the old parental room. Again, don't know where they are. They've obviously abandoned us. 
I mean, we're not good kids going missing and pretending we're part of a detective agency talking with a real-life talking teddy bear. Whatever, though, that makes us super cute. So we're going to grab the camera on the right-hand side on the desk. Should be obvious enough to, to pick it up there on the right-hand side. And then we can go all the way to the left into the dark room. Now, I was wondering if this was going to be a Fifty Shades of Grey style room with all whips, chains, and, you know, all that. Not not that I was into Fifty Shades, of course, but you know what I mean, a BDSM room type stuff. Sadly, it wasn't meant to be. This is a genuine photographer's dark room, so it's all good anyway. But we're going to interact with the safe on the left. And remember, the code is 107. So 107, that is going to open up the safe, and it's going to get us some liquids. Again, not the type of liquid you normally see in a dark room, but, well, photographers will probably get offended by that. So just taking a quick look around, we've got pipes, we've got containers, we've got everything we need to make some pictures. So go into your inventory first, get out the developing liquid bottles and stick them in the three containers on the desk right there. It's fairly simple, this is a uh, visually accurate uh, visual on how to actually do this. So pick up the duct tape from just underneath as well. Probably just sticking it above Ted E. Bear's head. And then if we go to the right there, we can see the film enlarger, but we need the latent image from the right-hand side. So go ahead and pick that boy up. Well, I hope it's nothing too scurry, because we are just a kid and a teddy bear after all. Uh, so interact with the film enlarger there to turn it on, but obviously it's not going to work because we need... To put a few things on it so we're gonna grab the latent image put that on the film enlarger first and then grab the film strip and then put that on the film enlarger as well then we can interact with the film enlarger well i'm glad that didn't say penis and then <laughs> we um so we've got we're almost there we are almost there now grab the latent image stick it inside the juiciness that is the um containers with the liquid in it and that is how accurate it is to make a... I just said accurate. That's how accurate it is to, to make a picture. And, well, luckily it's not our dad's wiener, but it is the red man, which we have been talking about so far. Very scary stuff, but... Nah, we queue, we queue. But we do get our second achievement of the DLC anyway. So, bits of dialogue, as per is the huge. Because they like talking in this game. Now we do play as the Red Man for just a little bit, so we actually have to go down to the hallway west. Again, Rusty's taking a little cheeky nap, so we can just nip on by. We've got no arms, which is... I mean, what happened to our arms, man? Why does everything scary have to ha lose a limb? That's uh, pretty disabled to me. Uh, go into Amber's room, and then what we're going to do then is press escape on the window. Now, Millie doesn't see... Millie's cookie there doesn't seem to be bothered that we are a red man just making our escape, so... Oh! Whoops. Well, Millie's cookie just screamed. I wonder what happened there. So that is what we're going to investigate. Head, in, head out of the parents' room, down to hallway east, down to hallway west, and back into Amber's room, of course. What happened to my Millie's cookie man? Millie, are you okay? Oh, thank good. We found a f you. I. It's a. We should get. Yeah. What about? She'll be. Wow, what an incredibly late reaction. She only screamed after the red man escaped. Anyway, pick up the nail on the floor. <laughs> and we also. This one is easily missed, but there's a board in the window. A bit of wood that we're going to pick up, and it's in the window. So that one is very easily missed. So make sure to pick that up, and the window will close. And this piece of wood is all good. So now we can head back into the hallway west gonna need to be doing a little bit of forging of some documentation and if we just head uh, go into your inventory grab the small nail and then we're going to use that on the glass case where the clock is of course that <laughs> extremely convenient right pick up the hook thingy and there we go. That will, of course, come in use very soon. Otherwise, what's the point in the 
uh, point and click adventure, huh? So we're going to use the hook, we're going to use that with the wooden board. And we're going to use the duct tape with it as well. So sticky that bad boy up. Now I can have higher aspirations. And unsurprisingly, we're going to use the attic hook with the attic. Um, or the attic door, sorry. So, you know, that that obviously all them items always come in handy. None of us are really that special and smart in real life to think of all these things to put together, are we? Let's be honest. Um, that's why we make a crap detective. Or I would, anyway. Right, so we can just press the B button slash circle button on the PlayStation there to skip. And we see a little police dog with a little mustache. And his name's Brian, which is super cute. Slam through all the dialogue, as once again is the purr. Not... Well, that's a... Aren't you a... well... Is that a... Uh. It hit... By the way, this is another exhaust all of the dialogue option, so... You know what to do? Exhaust all the dialogue. The stay I'm a... Uh, and how... I'm... I'm... S the word... What kind... Hey! Uh, don't... Uh, oh, I just... Jerry... It's... Br to just... That's... What I'm... That's an... So... Well, and he'll... And, but since... I'll have to get... You think... I really... Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. You may know me. I've also... Of... Are you... Can I take a... No. The ma okay. He's not in. And we don't have to... We'll have to find... Hey, what... That's falsified. There should be some... A drink. Never mind. You're an artist. Not fine. The mu Don't work. See, I told you there is a lot of speaking in this game. A lot more than the original. So, heading out to the hallway west, Millie seems to be in good spirits after being uh, supposedly killed by the Red Man. Unless that was just in the PlayStation version. I don't know. We're heading to the hallway east. And then we're going into the study on the right-hand side by Rusty, who is now... I mean, he's pretty incapacitated for good, so I don't know what the hell we've done to him. Next, we're going to be using our little attic hook. We're going to be using that again, and there is a key just on the left-hand side on the bookcase. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. Again, could have been easier just to have pushed the chair over there, but... You know, apparently we're that weak, and we didn't think to do that. But we're going to head into Flint's room now. Go on, Teddy boy. And then immediately go into your inventory and grab out the clearance and use it on the old mugshot brothers. The old jizz shot brothers. I need your help. I've got. And one. Yeah. yeah, we. Can't you just do it out of common courtesy? Yes, yeah, sure. Would you do. I would. She's with. Oh, yeah. She's in the. I'll cut. You mean. What? I'll be. Sure thing, Arnold. You got it? No, they don't have anything. Here you go. I'll be right back. So Amber's just given us a little something something to give the Mugshot Brothers in return for the clearance forms being filmed. Now I wonder what that could be. So head into your inventory, grab the creator's tool, which kind of looks like a bag in a weird way. Hmm. Does Is Amber one of those drug lords that keeps loads of drugs on her to uh, gain access to places? Because that's a great idea. So, we're going to choose the Muffin Man gave them to me. <laughs> the Muffin Man. And to be fair, oof, that's some good stuff, Muffin Man. Thank you very much. So, that gets us the clearance anyway. We are hitting the dusty old trail. They're obviously going to be extremely busy. There. You didn't. I sure. Own. What? Never mind. Let's head back. And we are coming up actually to the end of episode one now. So we're going to head back to the hallway yeast. Hallway waste. Hallway weast. And we're going to just head back up into the attic. So you know what to do. Stick the inventory out. Grab the old attic hook thingy. Oh, in fact, we don't even need to. We can just go straight up to the attic door now, which is bang toidy. That is nice enough for us, mate. So again, remember to, to tap the double A button when you go into new locations. That'll get you there immediately. 
instead of waiting around like a donkey for 10 or 20 seconds or so. Right then, grab the candle there from the right hand side, pick that one up, stick that wherever the hell you want it to Amber, and then go into your inventory, and we're going to use the Swiss Army Knife, we're going to use that on the candle, we're going to be doing a bit of forging of the documentation right now. So, we need some ink, and very conveniently, we have an office desk key now, so grab that one, and then use it on the roll top desk on the right hand side, and voila, somehow there just appears to be one bottle of ink for us. That's perfect. Just uh, love, 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 convenient, convenience and logic. So now we're going to use the vial of ink, and we're going to use that on the stamp. Happy days. And then what we're going to do, as soon as she stops yammering there, we are going to get the wet stamp, put that on the sign clearance, and then we're going to use the sign clearance on Brian, the, um, well, he's a, he's a bit of a weenie, really, isn't he? He doesn't even have a real moustache. <laughs> here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim, uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all. Well, every and enjoy. Have a nice you too. Good night. All right, I guess we're going. You ready, Ted? Give me a minute. I thought I left. Yeah. You're right. It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your former partner? He grew up. And there we go then, that is the episode, the end of episode one. Man, my words are all screwed up today. So you can just press the uh, B button there, the A or the B button, sorry, I forget which one, to go back, and then we can just press up on the D-pad, go to episode two, and we can start that boy. So, first things first, what we're going to do is just exhaust all the conversation with Betty the Blondie. Let you wait. Yeah. I'm the women. Oh. What you, I was. Did you. I. So hell. It. That. Of. No. Have you. Yeah. How. You can. He's. You talk. He can. What. He. Well. Just. But. Yep. Reach. And. We're looking. Fl thank you. I'm a. Recent. I. What. I. Who. Blabber. Hmm. I'm. Sh doing. You should. He. Is he. He's. The, is that? Yeah. Who's? He were? He sh He. Don't. Oh. Is. I. No. Well. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Th what? Be. Sure. Bye. Bye. So. Shut. And then we're going to go for a nice casual stroll outside and we're going to talk to Clark, who is the lone weird figure on the right hand side. Again, not sure if you can just double tap the A button there and we can go immediately to Clark again. Sometimes it works well, other times it doesn't for whatever reason. So just double tap. Uh, double tap the A button on like items and people you got to talk to and places and hopefully you'll just get there a couple of seconds quicker. So what we need to do then, we're going to talk to Clark. Basically he's going to give us a pamphlet as well. So, I mean, it seems to be, it'll probably be like a pamphlet for stalking by the looks of him. I don't have, what, sure. All right. And so keep, I'll be here. I'm. 
Okay, clock's done. We're going to head down and we're going to the bridge right now. Again, double tap the A button. Like I said, you can get there a lot quicker. It doesn't take me too long to figure this one out in this episode. Thankfully, you know, it only takes me an episode and a half to figure that one out, but that's fine. Now we're going to go into the room on the right hand side. There was an oil can first. So pick up the oil can off the big old electric danger danger box. Just grab that. Really. Eventually somebody's going to grab it. Come on. And then we can go into the bridge control room. Lovely. So a couple of things we're going to be doing here so we can get the we got to get the bridge down to get to the other side. So the first thing, pick up the briefcase directly in front of us as we begin. And with that we're going to get ye old screwdriver. Nice. Everyone needs a screwdriver for a pillow. Everyone needs a screwdriver. Right, next what we need to do, we need to click on the coat, which is on the far right hand side here. We're going to get a key. Oh, sorry, some coins out of that one. So, just, just robbing people as well. Robbing innocent people, of course. And on the left hand side, on the panel, there is it's called a specific magnet. So, we're going to interact with that specific magnet. And... That should be that. That'll always come in handy. Of course, just a bit later because, you know, again, you never know what's going to happen in real life. So pick things up. You, listening right now, always keep picking things up. You never know when it could come in handy. You know, that random piece of chewing gum on the floor, that can come in handy. So we're heading back down to the diner and we're going to go back inside the diner. Now then, what we're going to do is put on some music. So grab the coins from your inventory, and we're going to use them on the jukebox. So we've had enough of this uh, boring-ass crap. We're going to put on some insert music that you like here. Heavy metal, perhaps? Some rave? Some disco? How about some hip-hop? Whatever the hell you like, um, that's what we're going to put on anyway. And uh, as you can just see there, Shaky Pete just shook his uh, keys down the shaft for us. So we're going to interact with the shaft just to make sure that we know that the keys are there. And obviously we can't reach it by hand, which is pretty obvious. So now we're going to head back outside and we're going to be talking to um, Clark again. For whatever reason, I try using the screwdriver here. And funnily enough, that's not going to work. Um, yeah, sorry, me just being a donkey right now. Don't worry, you can't get that with the screwdriver. So head back outside, talk to Clark Kent, the weirder, worse version of Clark Kent. And when that's done, now we've got to just walk back inside of the diner. Again, like I said, it probably could have been easier if we just shouted to him out the window, but, you know, that's fine. Again, double tap the E button there to get inside the diner a lot quicker than I just did. So, a few things to grab. So, we're going to pick up the empty mug first. That's me. I'm an empty mug. I'm devoid of a soul. And then we're going to pick up the popcorn, which is just close to amber. So, we're going to pick that one up. And then we're going to go ahead and talk to Betty El Blondo. So, talk to Bet, the gorgeous little Met fan, I suppose. Hmm. That was awful. So, we need to choose It's for Clark, which should be the second from bottom option. It's for Clark. And then she gives us a nice coffee. So, what we need to do now, go into your inventory when this is done. And we're going to use the empty mug with the coffee pot. And even though we haven't got anything on us, that apparently all of a sudden turns into spiked coffee. Which is what we need. Okay. What the hell are you serving us, Betty boy? Betty boop? Hmm? 
serving everyone spiked coffee. That's why Shaky Pete, the security guard, is out all the time, isn't he? So when we get back outside, we can now use the spiked coffee with Clark. And basically, by the looks of him, we've just done, you know, every woman and man a favour who don't like being stalked. Here you go, buddy. Betty said she... Hmm. Sure. Achoo! <laughs> then again, sorry, mate. Sorry, didn't mean to um, just do that to you. But uh, anyway, that's cool. So since he's not here now, he's gone for a little walk. Apparently, we're going to pick up the fishing rod. And then we're going to go into your inventory, get your screwdriver out, and use it with the car. Now, what that's going to do is get us a fuse. Man, Amber and Ted eBay walk slow. Come on, we haven't got a friggin' day. Like a glove. I'll take. Okay, that's nice. Now we can go back inside of the diner. So, here we are now. Now we are. <coughs> Excuse me. So, now we are going to get some things. We're going to use the Swiss Army knife with the fishing rod. And that gets us a fishing line and a fish skeleton, of course. Yep, yeah, alright, th thank you Amber, thank you very much, incredibly useful as always. We're going to use the magnet with the fishing line, and that's going to get us the MCD 3000, which sounds incredible really, until Amber just bores you to death with it. Thank you Amber again. Now we're going to use the MCD 3000 with the shaft next to Pete, which of course is how we are going to get the keys. I mean, again, we could have just got the screwdriver and unscrewed the um, drains right there, but again, that's too easy, isn't it? And no game likes it too easy, or likes to give it to too easy, unless, of course, they are jetalon. So, <laughs> so anyway, now we can go to the bridge. Now that is where I figure out that you can double tap the A button <laughs> to get into places quicker. So we're heading to the bridge control room, and we're going to click on the left control panel, which we found the specific magnet, of course, earlier on. <coughs> Excuse me again. This is not good. Uh, so I do make a little quick save just there. Always make a quick save just in case. But before we put the fusing, interact with the left button um, emergency start button, where, where it says launch nuclear strike. Yep, interact with that button thingy. A little thing is going to happen, but that is going to give us the DD don't press the button achievement. So make sure to do that before you put the fuse in and turn the key. Congratulations, you are so close now. Now, since we can do that, we we can put the fuse on the missing fuse, obviously. Happy days, something's missing of course, which we all know is the control keys. So stick the keys inside of the hole, no lube, straight in dry. And then we can just exit back to the bridge. Very nice. As we can see, the bridge is closing. And now we can go back and then enter into the container terminal. We did it! Ish. Base. Base. There we go. See, we always make it eventually, don't we? So when we get to the containers bit then, what we're going to do is use the popcorn with the no seagulls sign on the ground. So use that one on the ground, which is directly in front of us. There's a couple of no seagull signs, but they don't actually work. It's only the ones on the floor that works. And then what's going to happen is a weird little guy called CBG is going to appear. When that happens, we're just going to exhaust all the dialogue options with him. So choose every single option. Job is f fantastic. I mean, seagull. No, 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 sir. They're the, the sea. No, huh. Yeah. Hi, sea. It's been. What are you. The city is. You're talking. Shh. What do you know? Here's the way. He just. In Think about it. There's a. Okay. The. What? Have you been? The, it's where? To, oh, yeah, yeah. And what? He already has an. As far as I could. Could. How are you holding? We've. No. Are you. No. CB. Yeah. Flint. Okay. Did you have, Honestly. Millie. Millie? Yeah. Clint. 
Look for the good girl. Let's see. There seems I know. Why is it the Amber the girl? He, this is if I fuck you go for it. Oh yeah, I can't. Especially you've heard. How can I time nonsense? We have to. Uh, oh yeah. So that's going to get us the voodoo charm by interacting with um, Batman from Wish. And when we have done all that, we're going to pick up the feather, which is just by the popcorn. So we should be able to do that. If you can't actually get it now, just leave the screen and then come back for it. Um, so if you can't pick it up for whatever, just head back down to the control bit and then head back up the screen and then pick it up. Now what we're going to do is press the left bumper to go into our map or the L1 button, LB or L1. And what we're going to do is go into the top right corner and choose Tigran's Lair. Now, it, this took me a while to figure out. It's a tiny, tiny little spot, but it's in the top right hand corner of the city called Tigran's Lair. So we're going to press the B button there to skip El Cutsino Rini. Did you? Him. The red. Where? Right. I look. I. Okay. No. I get. There were. What did it? I. Hmm. What are you? Nothing. That. Let's just. You're stupid. So, what we're going to do is pick up a ritual note on the right hand side. This is getting all extremely creepy. And this is a lot creepier, darker, and twisted than the main game. So, I'm not sure why they didn't put this as the main game. Either way. Both hilarious, both awesomely cute. So, we got the ritual note. Sure, okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Err, oh. Now pick up the chalk <laughs> on the left-hand side. That is the best thing about spamming dialogue, is everyone's characters go, eh, mm, eh, 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 Kind of sounds like a real crappy rave song. So, we are good for that. Now we're going to press the LB button, slash L1 again. We're going to go into the steel mill this time. And the steel mill is directly up, uh, sort of the top of the screen right there. So, as you can see, a couple of things we're going to do. We're going to use the pamphlet with uh, Stevie. We've all got dogs with mustache. We've all got cop dogs with mustaches, which is just so freaking adorable. I can't even stand it. Miss. Are you? No. Wait. Who's? Uh, I'm he. There is. Can we? Stop. Is there? Are you? My. I. Listen. We. Mm. Come on. What? Stop. Okay. What? Isn't that? <laughs> what? There you go. The, it's at the. What am I reading? In the big. Is that? Oh, real day. Can you feel the? It's a. a All right. <laughs> Let's go in. Wow. Yeah. Good point. Right now we can actually head inside the steel mill when we get the pamphlet. Or when we talk to Stevie Bobs. So now we're going to pick up the wrench that is on in some debris on the left. Fairly obvious to see it right there. So go ahead and pick up the wrench. The English language and the English spelling of stuff is is pretty useless, really, isn't it? But hey, it's what we got to get. It's what we got to get used to. So pick up the wrench and then we can exit back outside to the steel mill. So, a few things to pick up. First things first, we're going to pick up the pipe, which is directly in front of Amber. Okay. Amber's big old Mr. Mackey South Park head. Okay, now in the inventory, what we're going to use is the pipe with the actual wrench. So, use the pipe on wrench, there we go, and we get a crank. Now we're going to use the oil can, which we picked up, of course, from the bridge control room earlier. We're going to use that on the cog, just behind Officer Stuyvie who doesn't appear to be phased at all by us walking around, even though, of course, he apparently is easily distracted right there. So, that one's good. We put the oil on the cog. Good as new. Now we're going to use the crank. And, of course, we just made. We're going to use that with the cog. That's going to start it up. There we go. After we click the cog, of course. So, click the cog, and then we can go back inside the steel mill. Great job. You see? I knew... So with that one, we now have a bucket that we can interact with, so go ahead, stick your head inside El Buckethead, 
and we're going to get the matches and we are done for this area so we're going to be getting another achievement coming up now we're going to head to the map in just a moment but what we need to do we are playing as the red man again and basically all we need to do is click on cbg um for some reason that seemed to take a few seconds for me to <laughs> figure this one out for some particular odd reason but all you need to do is just click on cbg and we're basically going to kill the guy I mean, to be fair, if you ordered Batman and he turned up, then, yeah, you'd be pretty pissed off as well. Buddy? Buddy? A CBG? Sure thing. You're well, what do you want? That's... Well, that's pretty unlucky, bruh. You seem to be dead right now. So... With that, here is the missable achievement anyway, so what we need to do is just go to the right hand side screen um, with the question marks and that's going to unlock us the achievement. Whoops, missed the spot. Um, yeah, let's go back. This looks like uh, unfinished business, right meow. That's some good unfinished business we got. So we are now good to go, so you should have that achievement. Now we can interact with the intercom. And there's going to be one specific dialogue option that we're going to pick. As soon as these, as soon as Angry Ted and Somber Amber. Ha, that's funny. Eventually get there. Blah, blah, blah. Now choose Ted and Amber. It's Ted, as in... Can't it could... Oh. Now we can just go ahead, click inside of the mansion. Now you have to actually interact sort of more towards the gate right there. There we go. Mayor's Mansion. Lovely. Right. Go into the Mayor's Office. And then there's going to be another specific dialogue option that we're going to choose. As soon as we come up, as soon as it comes up, we're going to choose Don't Tell Him. So do not tell him Brian let you in, which should be the second option. Don't tell him Brian let you in. And that's it. Nice uh, bit of conversation with Colonel Pig Tucky right here. Uh, what do you ever not the what it I found key yeah uh, we found it Wow this that's a he didn't know can we move well where is you I gave it a Ted be smart I don't if that king it's kind you can get it I'll what I'm whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know mm. well all right I'm really no for under I don't doesn't Ted To kill I'm s Anyways, we have to go now. Sure thing. Huh. Bye, Miss. It's me. Oh no, another corrupt mayor. Oh, who could have seen that coming? Peppa Pig, you wanna have a chat with your uncle, pal? Otherwise, we're going to stick him into bacon as well. Turn him into bacon. Anyway, pick up these stickers from the right-hand side. And now we can just basically head into our map when we pick them ones up. And where we're going is to the West Poor Casino, which is on the left-hand side, sort of on the main strip. Nice. Right. What we're going to do then, as soon as we press the B button to skip El Cutsinorini, we're going to speak to Tim the Gorilla, or the Tim, sorry. Don't call him just Tim, he gets angry with that. It's like when you call... It's like when you call a strawberry blonde person a ginger. They don't like that either. Anyway, what you need to say then, uh, we just smashed all the dialogue. And then we are going to go left to the back alley. So we're going to go inside um, the Tim's back alley right there. Again, I hope it doesn't stink too much. You know, we got some nice clothes on right now. Right. First thing we're going to be doing then, we're going to be using these stickers with the marked boxes which are on the left hand side. So the mayor stickers we just picked up, use them with the marked boxes there with the numbers 14 and 13 on it. We're going to be doing some trickery right now. So as soon as they do that, we're going to then use the chalk. And we're going to use that with the empty boxes on the right. Now again, you wouldn't think this would fool much people, but of course in the world of video games... Everybody is stupid when you need them to be. There, nobody. After you? I mean.
Wait, are these the box? Yeah. Save no, it's your m- oh, Come on. Oh, what the- Hey. What? Dude. You're a So, from here then, pick up the uh, bowl of nuts. The only bowl of nuts that are on the table. And you see what I just did there? I kept double tapping. For some reason, I got to that one straight away, but not for other stuff. Really not sure why that happens. Anyway, heading left onto the main floor, what we're going to do is pick up the banana, which is on the table. It's pretty small, but you can see it. Wait, don't... Don't... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> don't... <laughs> anyway, we're going to walk all the way to the left now. And then what we're going to do is use the uh, one of the coins that we've got left. We're going to use that with the empty slot machine. So stick it in. Win some money, baby. Might as well gamble while we're here. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're looking out for our brother, but always worth a good gamble. So stick the coin in into the slot machine, and we're going to get the token. Then we'll have to walk all the way to the right-hand side. All right. Right, now we need to be speaking to the lovely Doris, and to do that, whip your token out. So we've won the jackpot and all it gets us is a stupid crappy token, but we speak with the lovely old lady Doris. She's been here 85 years, she's on the verge of death, but she does not want to leave her post because she'll be bored in the house. And she'll probably break a hip and nobody will know she's there, so fair, fair dues Doris, fair dues. So what this is going to do then is basically get us a, a bit of ice cream, chocolate and vanilla. Which is kind of weird actually when you think about it, we're in a high... High gambling casino, and all it gets us is some chocolate if we win the jackpot. A bit tamping, to be honest. I would take one, but oh my! Although to be fair, we do get Tigran's locket as well. So, what we need to do then? We're going to nip into our inventory, and we're going to use the Swiss Army knife with the banana. Again, for some reason, don't know why Amber can't just use her hands to open it up, but that's fine. And then we are going to use the peeled banana with the ice cream. You know what's happening here. Oh yeah. Then we're going to use the nuts on the banana ice cream. Probably not as tasty, but when you know who it's for, he's not going to give a monkey's nutsack. So it <laughs> does look goddamn tasty, though. Although, if you get rid of the nuts and the banana, I'll take that. So what we need to do now is exit to this right, sort of right down there to the elevator lobby. And then what we need to do, we need to use that banana split with Grod, the old gorilla bod. So into your inventory, get the banana split on Grod out, and then basically he's going to end up falling asleep, which works out well for us again. Hey guy, you look... Oh, sure. Can I? You can have... Thank you so well. Let's go up. So now we can just interact with the elevator, and now we can go ahead and get into King's Lounge. Now you don't know what you're messing with, chow. So, a lot of dialogue options, but there are two specific ones that we're going to choose. The first one is going to be, don't tell him about the mugshots. So smash through the dialogue here, and what we're going to do is say, don't tell him about the mugshots. Do not do it. Nope. Mm. By your dis- Come on. It was worth I would be more- And what was it? <laughs> we asked. Speaking of that, it's almost as- Have you- And yet you don't- Besides. But don't- The girl- Paper suit- Take care of the city- You want mills- That's what's gonna happen- We found you- <laughs> Why would I even bother to- Every word that comes out- You're a criminal. And you will never be any- You brought that red freak to- Ted, stop- <laughs> You think- I'm just a dust. We're nothing. Okay, stop. The red. Red nose. Don't you fall. He'll say, is this. M You've made the deal. Look at what he. And a coward. <sighs> Since are in you, you could. You, you can't keep us here. <laughs> I don't think so, King. 
Ted, don't do it. Have your goon. Ted, please put the. <sighs> Listen, you and me. And since Ted eBay is so pissed off, we are actually going to shoot at King this time. So the dialogue option is going to come up right now. In one, two, there we go. Shoot at King. So make sure to shoot at King. Obviously, that's going to work well. Uh, I mean, he is a big shark with a hell of a villain's voice, by the way. That's a fantastic voice. None of these squeaky villain douchebags. It's all about the dark, deep, scary voice, intimidation, etc. Obviously, I could pull that off. Lovely. So, somehow we shoot the gorilla for some reason instead of the shark. What we're going to do, interact though with the plant at the top, the Super Mario looking plant. That is actually going to get us the Oh Snap Missable Achievement. So, make sure to get the plant first and then use or grab the rag on the right hand side when we're done with that. It's just between the boxes on the right. Okay, now whip inside your inventory once again. We're going to be using the rag with the small vent. It's basically going to blow the door open for us. Hooray! Get ready, Ted. Okay. I you think you can lock up Ted? And there we go. So now we can actually exit to the control room on the left-hand side. Lovely. Right, what we need to do, this computer, this stoned, weird, hippie-looking computer is going to talk to us. What we're going to do is just keep smashing the A button, we're going to exhaust all the dialogue, and that includes the trivia. So he's going to ask us some questions, we're just going to pick all the wrong answers anyway, doesn't matter, I just keep spamming the A button until he's all stoned out and he stops talking to us. Look, what do you- Where's Bill? Well that- My- Arch- I have- Want to- Is that- Ah, uh, I'm all- How about a- Don't- Yeah- Sure- it, A legend- Escape- Th- uh, it, He- Wait- Yeah- Look- uh, Alright- Zero- One. There. Oh. Mitchell. It's fun. Like. If you. Like. Let. Ha! That. What? The, what? The what? what? Ha! Ha! Oh. Ha! Let. Does. Ah. So. <laughs> Wait. Exactly. No. I. There's a. What? All right. Ted. Maybe. It's just. Look. Maybe. Yeah. Look. You. T you know. Oh man, that was goddamn exhausting. So, pick up the plant. When he's finally done, we're going to pick up the plant at the table uh, in the forefront of the screen. Delicioso Magoso. And then we're going to click the inventory box, which is to the left of the monitors, to get all our inventory as soon as that those creepy-ass TV-headed monkeys uh, get out of the way right there. Um, I assume they're monkeys. I've seen a lot of monkeys lately in King's Place, so I just assume they are. So, we've taken Ted's junk back. Again, that's going to come in handy, of course, later on. And then we're going to head to the right, to the boiler room again. Right, whip inside your inventory again, get the Swiss Army knife out, and then use it on the lockers, which is again on the left-hand side. <laughs> Man, I'm getting exhausted, all these dialogue options. And there we go, that gets us a handle, eventually. Now we can head back to the control room. Uh, we're almost done with this little part. We're actually almost done with this second episode. What we need to do then is use the handle with the secret door, which is on the ground just in front of the elevator. Um, big square, probably can't miss it. There it is, just in front. And then we can exit to um, the gorilla's back alley. Hmm, delicious. Something smells gorilla in there. I wonder what the hell that is. So when, when we are back here then, go back into your map again using the LB slash L1 button and then go back to Tigran's Lair. Now, what we're going to do, uh, again, after skipping this cutscene once more, we are actually going to make a quick save. Now, the puzzles in this game are very, very easy, but it's always worth making a save just in case you make a mistake. So when you make a save, go to the Ritual Altar. And then what we need to do is just put the specific items in the specific ones. So, we're going to use the matches and use it with the left, top left one. So, matches with the fire element, of course. That one's owl good. Then for the bottom left one, which is earth, we are going to use the plant. So, whip your plant out, use it on the earth element. And that is also double noise. Right, next we're going to do the top right one, which is the air element, and we're going to use the feather on that. So that's triple noise. And then it's going to be bottom right, which is the water element, and we're going to whip out ye old fish skeleton. So, fish skeleton, bottom right, 
that's quadruple nice. And then there's only one thing left to do, and that is to get Tigran's Locket out. There it is, Tigran's Locket, which we got from Doris in the casino. Use that in the centre one, and that is uh, whatever the word for five times is. Five times nice. So that's going to unlock us the fifth element achievement, and now we can go inside Tigran's Lair. Hey, baby, what's going on? You look scary, but also kind of hot. Is that weird? I wish I didn't just say that. Anyway, we're going to talk to Tigran, completely exhaust the conversation. What about the boy? Are you sure? They're red. The red things. How do I get a key? So you're king trick. It's all right. I can. Mm, okay. It is done. That's it. I don't king. And if not. Nah. I'm not the power. Amber. The good. What do we will? Of course. What get? She. She. Wait. To not. You. M well. And that's. Stop. Huh. Any. Go. Before I. CBG. This it's not a it's not not your yeah you're all <laughs> why are you you got <sighs> the girl Ted she really is. at least so she does it what does you what uh, what he wow you will and when will that nah. did you tell <laughs> I'll try you. You just oh, so dead. So now what? We need to get out of this. What? Fl so I wouldn't. Oh, sudden. You didn't then. Oh. Ugh. I'll pretend you didn't just say that. I need to get- No! You can- Oh, wow. What? Forget it. And I'm- So, I'm saying- Wait, you- Frankly- Don't you dare- Hey, this is your city, right? But- You know what? Fine, leave! I figured as much. Well... And that is the end of episode two. So, you know, a great detective pairing always comes with a fight in between the episodes. It's just always a thing. TV, films or games, books, you name it, pairings have a fight. Anyway, we can go straight into episode three. So that is what we're going to do. So, just a quick word of warning, this is not going to be the full episode 3, because we don't actually need to complete the whole episode to get all of the achievements. We're going to get about halfway through, uh, but I'm only showing you up until the achievement point. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to a awesome written walkthrough that if you want to finish the episode off to find out what goes on, I will, I'm will. i going to leave that in the description box below. So what we're going to do then? First things first, we're going to come up. We are coming up to a missable achievement. Now this could have been particularly quite tricky, but there is a trick that we're going to do. So since we've just basically loaded straight in, there's no need to save. But what we're going to do is grab the umbrella on the right hand side first. There it is. So whip out your umbrella, Ella, Ella, e, e, e. Okay, now we actually need to grab the umbrella and we can need to use it on the painting. Sorry, you don't want to listen to my sheep-infused singing right there. Sheep shagging, apparently, because I'm Welsh. Um, use the umbrella on the painting. Now, this is going to give an arrow. Now, this is going to be random for you. For me, it's bottom left. But for you, it, this could be absolutely anywhere. But I will tell you why this is an important thing. Remember which way it went. So, we're going to load the game back up. 
The umbrella and the painting should still be there. Um, untouched. So we're not going to touch them this time. We're going to use the door panel and then we're going to interact with the door mechanism. Remember which way your particular arrow went. Now there's a particular order we need to do. So first of all it's southeast. And then it's very left, which is west. And then it is very right, which is east. Now this is where your arrow will come into play. Now remember for me it was the bottom left, which will be southwest. But for you, it could be absolutely anything. So make sure you remember what arrow that was. Point it to that and then choose north as the final option. That is what will get us out of the room and that is what will get us the it's not going to rain achievement as well. So the first three will always be the same, but it is the fourth arrow button, which will always be random. So again, it's not that difficult to figure out when you know what you're doing, but I suppose that's like everything in real life really, isn't it? So hopefully there that wasn't too difficult for you and I got that. I got you through to that with no problems. So smash the dialogue and cutscenes right me out. Night how's the whole women? <laughs> Just hey, I was we thought you see how do you, you can I mean I, no. oh come on yeah whatever go out all that <laughs> all right <laughs> I could go yeah I mean I have to ship put this up. Um no time to So once we are ready to go, we are going to go back to Tigran's Lair, which remember is in the top right hand corner, tiny little little wienery bit. So, a few things to do. We're going to pick up the matches. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I don't think I'm well. I need to be manly and deep. So, pick up the matches and then head <laughs> into Tigran's lair. So, we're going to pick up the candle, which is near the chuj. There it is. Tiny little speck of candle, but we are. That's what we're going to pick up. Near the chuj. Yes, please. And then we're going to pick up the glass slide, which is on the ground underneath the window. For some reason, I thought the wall on the right was a window, but the window was directly in front of us. Apparently, I don't know what a window looks like. Really uh, doesn't bode well for the rest of my life, that. So, going into the back room, uh, exiting left into the back room, we're going to pick up the Lantern Magica. Right, right there, on the right-hand side. And then we're going to get up a spooky bunch of images. So, first thing we're going to do is use that Lantern Magica with the table. And then, of course, we're going to use the candles and the matches with it. So whip it all out, use the candle on it, then use the matches on it. Here goes nothing. Right, so let us pick up another couple of glass slides now. So the first one is up against the wall, which is under the left-hand side table. So you could probably just see it. Kind of tricky to see those ones, but... That is what you need, so pick that one up, glass slide. And there's going to be a third glass slide on the collapsed shelf on the left. And it's going to be just on the, well, like I said, collapsed shelf. The one that is all broken and stuff. Because that is what collapsed means, obviously. Right, now we need to just use all three glass slides with the Lantern Magica. And then look at the mural after. So you have to do this one by one, so enjoy! The hell is this? Every major so we need to be actually interacting with the mural which is just on the left hand side right there, there it is so rather than, than the projection itself so when that one is done we can now go back into the map and go back to the West Pow Casino I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, well what's going to happen is we're going to piss these officers off now which is oh, just a shame of course <laughs> I'm going to do some Schnitt stirring, as it were. Some zit stirring. So, uh, smash through the dialogue here, blah blah blah. Mr. No Eyes, blah blah blah. Use pamphlet, don't work. Let the shit stirring begin! So, talk to the police officers right here. 
and what we need to do is just say buy straight away so we're gonna have a dialogue option so just be careful you don't choose the pick one at uh, the top one we're just gonna say buy for now and then we're gonna go and speak to blabbermouth again which comes in handy a name and a mouth like blabbermouth do you then go ahead and speak to the police officers again this time what we're gonna say is I work over at the paper city general so bottom top uh, top top from bottom second from bottom work at the paper city general and then when this conversation is done we're gonna go and speak to blabbermouth again yeah. nothing same. well coincidence. thanks so you're going to talk to the police officers again, and what's going to happen, the, the next dialogue option we're going to choose is Cardboard Villa, or Cardboard Villa, Cardboard Veal, whatever the hell it is. Choose Cardboard Veal, and then a whole bunch of cutscenes are going to happen, and we've just stirred the pot massively, because that's what cute-ass teddy bears do when it actually gets to Officer Mustache's head. Oh, for the love of... Smooth! I'm sorry, Bob. What? Um, no. Uh, I. You were jealous of money. You. <gasps> Ow! Uh, 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 take that! Uh, you son of a. Ooh, I never wanted to paper. hit you, but. Uh, 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 you little. Uh, you were... Oh, no. Those. Mr. Hey, it's Brian. X. Listen. Your huh. own seam. Man. Miss. You know. Forge. Any. Uh, Lat. Harbor. Nah. God. Oh, hey, right. wait, Ted. Don't worry about me it's going. I'm go Coco. Yeah, my plan. Stomp. Huh. You'd probably can't. Ice resorting. I hope. See you around. Um, why I'm here. Uh, oh, yeah. don't which and you know, you, I'll take what was that? What was I thought? I heard. You sh no, I guess I the water. It's really pimp. Righto, righto, chaps. Here we are as Amber. We're going to pick up the boat hook just to the right of us. Right there. And then we're going to pick up the sailing rope, which is just hanging, chilling, chilling balls on the walls. There we go. When we pick that one up, we can then exit to the left to the backle side. Again, make sure to be double tapping the A button so you can get places quicker. So we're going to interact with the Zen Rocks, which is on the left hand side right there. So smash that up, pick it up, stick it in your pocket. Uh, you don't look like you've got any pockets, so I'm impressed where you're keeping it all. Hmm. So eventually we'll get there. And then we can go ahead and pick up the bucket, which is just by the statue. I feel like so next up, we're going to go to our inventory. We're going to use the boat hook with the sailing rope. Hook with the sailor's rope. And we're going to get the hooked rope, of course. Sticking with the inventory, we're going to also use the Zen Rocks with the bucket. And obviously get a filled bucket with rocks. How maddening's that? So, now we can use the hooked rope with the wine cellar entrance. The big double doors right there. So, slap that on. Slap it round and slap it on, girl. And then what we need to do is click the rope on the floor to tie it to the other rope. There we go. <laughs> Again, pretty obvious, but you know... Just in case. Now we're going to use the filled bucket with the well. You can see where this is going already, can't you? So slap that on. Slather it on. Girl. And then just click on the bucket. And then, of course, we can exit to the wine cellar. We are super smart and super funny and super cute. Now, of course, you need to click on the bucket rather than the wine cellar entrance first. Somehow I ended up figuring that one out. <laughs> awesome. There's a stair. Uh, sure thing, doll, you know. I'm it's your call. I know. Snooping around, girl. 
You're spending too much time with that bear of yours. Who am I? Just to let you know, this is at least three to four minutes long and you cannot skip past the dialogue at all. So just enjoy and try not to get too bored by listening to <laughs> Intimidation. Trouble down at the agency. He left me. Probably went somewhere to get drunk and bore someone to death with his make-believe problems. I'm sorry to hear that. But you see, everything ends eventually. There's a major concern regarding you and the Red Man girl. Why do you think he's after you? I... I don't know. He's done something to my brother and now he wants to get me too. And I know you wanted to hand me over to him. Why? I'm not a good man, girl. All my life, I was on the wrong side of the Finns. When the Red Men came down to Paper City, it soon became very clear there's no stopping him. You see, I thought I could make the best out of a hopeless situation. So you made a deal with him? We tried, but it wasn't right. Seeing you again after all that time reminded me, in a way, who we owe our debts to. What do you mean? You made this city, girl. We should stand with you and try to fight off this menace together. But you can only face him when you're ready. So it's best to take you out of the city until then. If you stay here for too long... I'm not leaving. It's for your own good. Don't tell me what's good for me. You tried to sell me down the river. It was a mistake on my part. I see that now. But you have to trust me. Why would I trust you now? What's changed? Can't you see? The end is coming. Our world will burn. No way around it. So you thought you could make up for the lifetime of wrongdoing by making a stand at the end? Seems a bit hypocritical if you ask me. Is there a deadline on repentance? I... Where's Tigran? I need to talk to her. Tigran is long gone, girl. She's not coming back. Not any time soon, at least. What did you do to her? <sighs> Who do you take me for? She left on her own. It's what she does. You care for her? I did. Once. So you didn't send your men to kidnap her? Of course not. I sent them there to recover my candle and... It's the police! Hmm. They followed you here. Go downstairs and hide. Why would I hide? I did nothing wrong. They're not here because of me, girl. What do you mean? Mill sent his lackeys to get you. King, we have your place surrounded. We know the girl's in there. Hand her over and no one has to get hurt. Well, seems like a good time to make your stand now. <laughs> Goodbye, girl. Don't ever grow up. Goodbye? You're handing me over to them? Don't be silly. Then why did you... Okay, boys. This is it. Stay away from the windows and shoot at anything that wags its tail. Now would be a good time for you to hide. I can help. I'd rather if you didn't. Now go. So yeah, a nice sort of three and a half minutes of unskippable cutscene and unskippable dialogue. Just makes the heart melt, doesn't it? With anger! Of course, no, no, nobody's angry here. So, we are back as Ted E. Bear, and we're going to get the carrot juice, and we're going to use it on Sharky. This is the nicer uh, of the two Shark brothers, of course. So, uh, well, even though he is an alcoholic, I suppose. So, he's going to let us go ahead, and then what we're going to do is head left to the backside, just where we were with Amber. So, what we are doing is going on a hunt for some uh, keys. 
And the first thing we're going to do is interact with a broken vase. Now, of course, we can't just go down the wine cellar, sadly, which would have made life a hell of a lot easier. But when we get the key, the earth key out of the broken vase, we're going to go back to the pier and then we're heading up to the main entrance. Weirdly, there doesn't seem to appear to be any guards or anything, again, which comes in handy for us. But first thing we're going to do, pick up the fireplace tongs just next to the fire, obviously. And then we need to click on the fireplace itself and then click the loose brick in the fireplace, which is just on the left ish. Slap that down, and then what we can do is pick up the key. That one is the fire key, which of course makes sense, <laughs> really. And then we're going to walk all the way to the right until we see a fish bowl. And then what we're going to do is use those fireplace tongs on the fish bowl. So, you know what to do. Don't get your hands snapped up. I mean, I suppose you are a teddy bear. You don't really have any organs or anything. I suppose you're just a, you're full of stuffed stuff, ain't you, really? Anyway, head to the right to the study, and what we're going to do is click on the Zeppelin, which is just to the right of King's beautiful photo right there. So, of course, they've just had a shootout, of course. That is why there's no guards there, I suppose. Good point. They're all dead now. So, once that's broken, we can grab the air key from off the floor. And now, what we're going to do is click on King's portrait. There's going to be a very easy puzzle right here. So, what we need to do is click the... In the middle row of the books, we're going to click the right book first. So there's two books there. We're going to click the rightmost one first. There we go. Click it. Come on, boy. It's Jesus Christ, it took my time. And then we're going to click the middle left one. And then we're going to click the top book. And then the bottom book. And that is going to open up this secret passageway. Very easy um, sort of password there to get into a secret passageway. But whatever. So we're going to exit to the secret voodoo room and once again for the next three minutes or so we're going to have an unskippable dialogue cutscene. So enjoy whatever the hell's going on right here. Why do people keep telling me that? She's gone, Ted. I figured as much. They really did a number on you. It, it was Mills. That back stabbing son of a... <laughs> Hang in there. I'll call for help. Come on, Ted. We both know this is the end of the line. I see you and your boys took a lot of them with you. Must have been one hell of a fight. <sighs> it was only... Okay. Is she? And she's fine. But seeing as she's in their hands now, she won't be fine. <laughs> for long. What about your candle there? I thought you were protected. Uh, I... I couldn't get the damn thing to work. Only she can... Tigrin. Where is she? Oh, who knows? It's near impossible for her to settle down dead. She's as wild as they come. It's what I loved about her the most. What were you trying to accomplish, King? <sighs> I made a mistake, Bear. I was afraid. I thought... I... If I hand the girl over to the Red Men, the city would be safe. But she is the city. Without her, there's nothing. And Mills? Mills has gone insane. It was him who burned down the mill, Ted. I had my suspicions. And he tried to pin it on you. Why? <sighs> there's no honor among thieves, Bear. We had a gentleman's agreement. About the elections. But I guess that pig likes to run unopposed. He was meeting with the red man behind my back all the while, pretending to be <laughs> concerned about her well-being. He doesn't care for the girl, Ted. Only himself. So now what? They're handing her over to Red? Is that the plan? I really don't know. Although, that sounds about right, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> This vault behind me. You'll find everything in there. There's enough dirt in that vault to put Mills away for good. Make sure you give that evidence to someone you can trust. To someone you know. Rest now. I'll rest you when I'm dead. God damn it. We never got along. But I have to hand it to you, King. You turn. Not as long as the conversation with Amber, but still. A hell of a long time. So, King is dead. Uh, oh, he just seen his eyes glaze over as well. Well, that's unlucky. 
But we are going to interact with the Reef King himself because we're going to get be getting the Love Key. Now this is another puzzle that we need to do first time, so we're going to make a manual save. So make sure to make the manual save right here and then interact with the Vault Handle. Now, what we need to do is insert keys in a particular order and then do and then twist the keys in another particular order. So the top one, what we're going to use is the A key. The A. So there we go. Use the A key then with the top lock first. Nice. And then the second one, we're going to be using the water key. So put the water key then in the second lock. If not, then you can suck my clock. And then the third one is going to be the earth, not the love key, but the earth key, baby. So earth key in the third lock, and then it's going to be the fire, uh, fire key in the final lock. And again, you've got to do these, uh, change the locks in a particular order. So first things, it's one. So interact with the first key. So obviously one top, four bottom. So one, four, two. And then three. So one, four, two, three for the first one. Next, it's going to be two, three, one, four. There we go. I know we're doing this one more time. And then it is three, one, two, and four. And that should unlock us the mechanist achievement. If you did make a mistake, on any point or you don't unlock the achievement just quickly uh, reload your save uh, your manual save right there and then just try it again but that should be easy enough anyway so using the love key with the middle bit that will unlock the safe for us and then what we can do you think there'd be loads of money and stuff in here but we're only interested in the evidence suitcase on the left and the sharky sin suitcase on the right hiding all his brother's booze mm, wasn't even that good so, Shaki Sin suitcase, so make sure to pick that one up. And then we can exit back to the study. So, head back upstairs, and then to the living room, and then back to the PSC side entrance. He's been waiting a long time for this. But what we're going to do, of course, is give Sharky Sin his suitcase back. He's going to be one happy boy. But there is going to be... Um, basically, we're, we're about eight minutes away from now from completing the... Or getting all of the achievements anyway. Uh, but interact with Sharky Sins. It's going to be a cutscene. And then we're going to end up back at the police station. Or we're going to use the map to go back to the police station. Rather. Where? Take me. I it's about... King passing away like that made me realize he was the only one of this. So here we are then back on the map. We're going to go to the police station, which is on the left hand side. Again, tiny little place, but that is where we're doing. So couple we got three achievements. No, two achievements left to get right here. No, three achievements, sorry. So, <laughs> have a bit of conversation with Blabbermouth and Officer No Stash. I need. What is, is it? What? You're right. Go. I'll meet. I'll I believe this is. And then what we're going to do is head into the police station, and basically we're just going to have another long chat with Betty Boop. Hey there. I. W Can you. No. It's more fun. So. Oh. I already. Oh. I mean. So. You've. T <sighs> I. Uh, he seen. I have. Me. Who? Um. Yeah. Don't. How? That cop. You think? Yeah. Are you. Go something. I mean. I didn't. So. It, that's what I'm. What. He's. CB. He got her. Oh. Right. Do I. Well. Why. Look. Well you. Exact. Fine. Sure. What in. You know. I'm. I'm having. Ugh. You're the best. I hope you get. Hey there. Oh. <laughs> well. My. You're. S um. Well. Uh, girl. So. Well. How to make any man or dog fall in love with you, be a woman, have a little bit of charm, flirt a little bit. Perfect. Any man will love you. <laughs> so we're going to make a quick manual save here. Once again, it shouldn't be too bad from now, but we're going to use it just in case. But we are going to head to the interrogation room on the right-hand side. Now, we're doing this because this is for a specific dialogue 
option that we need to choose for a missable achievement. That is why we just made the manual save. So, first things first, what we're going to say is, he got you. Ah, oh, man, he got you. Eventually, it's going to appear. Old Wish, old Batman from Wish. And there we go. So, choose he got you, which should be the bottom option. Nice. The next one, what we're going to choose is... Oh, snap. There we go. So, the bottom option again. Oh, snap. And then for the last one, which gets us the achievement? Get me a peppermint soy latte. What is people's obsession with overdoing a nice cup of tea or a nice latte or a nice coffee? Oh, peppermint soy. Eh. So, it's the top, top option anyway. Get me a peppermint soy latte. It probably tastes like... I don't know. might taste nice, but... You know, sounds disgusting. Anyways, that knobs off Lawrence. And that will get us the achievement. You got screwed, Lawrence. Happy days. So now we can head back to the front desk. We are almost done. A couple of things left to do. We need to go back to the uh, front of the police station right here and speak to Blabbermouth and Brian. What that's going to do is just get us the evidence room key and then we can head back into the station. I tried flirting once, tried to make someone fall in love with me. It didn't go particularly well. I got slapped square in the nips. Anyway, we're going to use the evidence room key in the evidence room. Yeah, apparently I'm not the best flirter in the world. Um, and I'm not going to show you how I do it anyway, because I don't want anyone else to go through the embarrassment. Okay, so now we are in the evidence room. What we need to do is interact with the hat, which is directly on the top shelf in front of us. And that looks like a Gryffindor hat. That is going to get us the drinking door, which is hilarious. That achievement as well. So when we get that, we're going to pick up the utility belt on the right-hand side, just near the knight's helmet. And then a bunch of cutscenes are going to happen <laughs> once again. But make sure you've interacted with the hat, got the drinking door achievement, and then moving on. What in the hell? What the? Ah, sure, I'll watch. Let me get your words, rookie of tongue. And what I know you mean well as you okay. So I glad I mean so. Sam, you go back. You got Brian. Yes. And that leave. We need to. I don't know. He's just like we can. No need. What? There's some. What is it? Go to floor. What do you mean? listen? How will I? That's right. Be. I, I. I'm your go through. If it, I do. All right. I'll go, sir. Once you gather those few good men, so he's good thing I mm. dead. God, that was an odd dot to connect. Well, you said cool head, and I thought of ice. Yeah, ice, and how it goes well with carrot juice and. So we've got one tiny thing left to do to get the final achievement. We need to interact with the Paper City Tunnel, which is of course the tunnel-looking tunnel at the top, and then we need to just um, go straight ahead, and we're basically going to end up back into Flint's room. That should be directly in front of us. There we go. For some reason, I had trouble with that one as well. Don't know what the hell was happening that day. Right, now remember, I said that you had to pick up either the cloth and slash or sword. Uh, way back when in episode one. Now, it's important that if you haven't got them yet, make sure to do it now. Pick up either the red cloth or the sword if you've got them. We can just interact with the Mugshot Brothers. They are basically now stuffed animals. And that is what gets us the final achievement slash trophy called True Colours. And that will be the end of the video. But there is around half hour or so left to complete the actual game. Apparently, well, I say apparently, I did finish it, and it does get very dark, very twisty, and extremely just awesome, awesomely written as well. So, I highly advise finishing off the game um, just to see exactly what happened to Flintos McGintos. If not, of course, do not worry. If you just wanted to get all the achievements, this will be it. I will show you why, when, how, and where as soon as it unlocks. So, something weird is going on now. And there we go. So, that's it then. Guys and gals, that should be the final one. We've seen the true colours of Flint's room, and that should be every single achievement. Now, if you've done the main game, you should now have 
32 out of 32 achievements, 1195 out of 1195, and another platinum. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you found this video helpful and entertaining of sorts. Uh, don't forget, of course, to check me out on all my socials as well, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Patreon as well. Big, huge shout-out to Every single person, uh, especially to those on Patreon, who continue to support the show and the channel and help me bring out more content as quickly as possible. So huge shout out to you guys and gals. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel anyway. Absolute legends. And, well, that is that then, guys and gals. So congrats once again, but I'll see you in the next one. Big love.